Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a little timetable. So on the screen, you can see if I type a date in there, so if I put the 27th of September in there, these dates automatic, automatically increment by one day because there's a little formula in there just going plus one. If I fill in this calendar area with a one it automatically colors green to indicate that session or that slot is booked up now what i want to do on a sec second sheet is if i click on that create a second sheet i want to recreate what i've done here so at the top you can see one just let's color that yellow let's put today's date with control semicolon that's today's date and then next to that, let's just do a little formula equals that date plus one. So then you can pull that across like so. And then what I want to do underneath that is do a little formula that's going to equals that so. That'll do. But I want to format that not to be the date like it is now. But if I go into this area and down to where it says more number formats I can select custom and change that so it only shows me the day day not the whole date so that's a Sunday if I pull that across that goes to Thursday so if I put that down as the 13th for example which is a Monday this now gives me the five day week now, if I go, if I go back to this first one, what have I got this laid out? I've got a room, room one and two, and then a series of times. So if I go and do that, if I go room one, first of all, room one, and the first period is 0900, and then 10 o'clock. If I highlight those two, I can pull that down to 1700, and then I can do room two, And do exactly the same i'll just copy and paste that underneath and you can repeat this as many times as you want obviously press escape to get rid of the marching ants now this area needs to color green if it is greater than one so across to conditional formatting manage rules new rule formats only cells that contain greater than or you can do greater than or equal to one format green so the whole cell wants to be green that color or that, that one nice let's do the font as well so it doesn't show the one same color so that one i think it is okay to that can't see the font okay can't see the font okay now, if I start booking a session out, it should go green, but I shouldn't see the one, which I can't. And it should be the same all over the area that I selected. So if I book the whole day on room one and two, too far. You, you get it colouring up like so. So that's just a quick little video on how to create a calendar. So whatever, you de whatever date you put in there, you just do plus one and you can do the format underneath. So you can change that format, e equals that, but with a different format through custom. And then conditional formatting to color up whatever color you want, depending whether there's a, a figure in there or not. And if there's no figure in there, it'll be blank. If there is a figure in there, it's booked out. So it automatically colors up. So that's all I want to talk about in this little session. So hopefully you find that useful. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.